pieces general characters fishes have first evolved in silurian period of paleozoic era they increase their number in devonian period and this devonian period is called golden age of fishes fishes are the first jawed vertebrates or they are the lowest form of jawed vertebrates they constitute 40% of the total vertebrate population they are cold blooded vertebrates and the study of fishes is known as ichthyology this super class species uh, includes uh, living as well as extinct forms uh, living and extinct forms um, that were present during the devonian period from devonian period onwards whatever fishes were present those are included in the super class species and this uh, there are more than 40000 species of fishes in world today and uh, of these 40000 28000 of them are extant extant means they are alive they are alive condition and uh, most of these fish uh, most of these fishes are Uh, marine ones whereas um, nearly 41% of these fishes are freshwater fishes fishes are either marine freshwater or they are brackish water where it is a mixture of both freshwater as well as marine forms that are present and uh, the fishes are cold blooded aquatic vertebrates with definite jaws a streamlined body paired fins gills and scales this is the structure of a typical fish a typical fish it is laterally compressed here this is the dorsal side this is the anal side it is laterally compressed fish which is a bony fish it has a lateral line sense organ that detects the uh, water the changes in water and the anterior tip the anterior tip uh, of the fish you have a mouth and this mouth is either terminal or subterminal and it is ventral in the case of cartilaginous fishes mandible and maxillary are present in fishes it has eye the gills are present gills are the respiratory organ and these gills are covered by operculum fin dorsal fin is present anal fin is there uh, near the tail region the pelvic fin is there and the pectoral fin is there near the operculum that's a structure of a typical fish and the whole fish body is covered by means of scales and they secrete uh, some glandular substance um, which is called mucus that mucus gives them a slimy appearance that mucus gives them a slimy appearance and the general uh, coming to general characters of fishes fishes are poikilothermic uh, vert aquatic vertebrates living in marine or fresh water and brackish water body is uh, divisible into head trunk and tail neck is absent uh, and it has a streamlined it has a streamlined spindle shaped body and this streamlined body helps to uh swimming helps in swimming and uh, the skin contains multicellular mucus glands that gives it uh, which acts as a lubricant and that gives it a slimy nature exoskeleton made out of dermal scales or bony plates endoskeleton is by bones or cartilages bones in the case of osteichthys and cartilage in the case of uh, chondrichthys vertebrae are amphicelous vertebrae the vertebral column is made out of vertebrae and each vertebrae has a uh, central thick mass which is known as centrum this centrum has concave a concavity on both sides and such a type of centrum which has concavity on both side that is called amphicelous ribs are present and these are uh, ribs Uh, these uh, uh, ribs are well defined in the case of um, uh, in the case of fishes pectoral and pelvic girdles 
they support the paired fins the paired fins has the paired fins has the pectoral and pelvic girdles they support the paired fins the paired fins they are the pectoral and pelvic fins and these pectoral and pelvic fins the paired fins they are supported by pectoral and pelvic girdles and unpaired fins unpaired fins are the dorsal fin uh, that you see on the dorsal side the anal fin that you see uh, behind the pelvic fin and the caudal fin that is found at the posterior end external nostrils are paired and opens into blind nasal sacs internal nostrils present in osteolipids and dipnoi group pisces general character coelom consists of small pericardial cavity and larger pleuroperitoneal cavity contains all viscera except kidneys and these two are separated by septum transversum dentition dentition is homodont all teeth are equal in size they are found within the socket and ends known as acrodont homodont they are they are of equal size and equal type and similar type acrodont they are found within socket teeth found in sockets hence known as acrodont polyphyodont uh, whenever a tooth breaks new tooth appears and this condition when new tooth appears that condition is known as polyphyodont that condition is known as polyphyodont and uh, spiral valves uh, is seen in intestine that increases absorptive area this is mainly seen in contrictus form and the general uh, characters uh, the main thing is the body is covered by scales these scales are of different types they are placoid scales cycloid scales tenoid scales and ganoid scales are present and uh, placoid scales those are found in contrictus form respiration is by gills gills are the extension of the pharynx in elasmo branches fishes the gills will open separate in bony fishes the gill slits are covered by operculum you can see a bony structure or a bony plate covering the gills which is known as operculum and this is found in bony fishes or osteichthys in cartilaginous fishes in cartilaginous fishes they open into the gill chamber and through gill slits water passes out so gill slits which is a characteristic feature of vertebrate that is present in contrictus fishes placoid scale placoid scale is found in contrictus form and tenoid as well as ganoid scales they are found in um, bony fishes tenoid scales ganoid scales and cycloid scales are found in uh, bony fish uh, on the head a pair of nostrils are present uh, internal nostrils are absent in dipnoi internal nostrils are also present uh, on the head a pair of eyes are present on the lateral sides of the body lateral line sense organs are present which is also known as neuromast organs they detect the pressure changes the pressure changes within water that is detected by these neuromast organs neuromast organs they are also known as lateral line sense organ lateral line sense organ or neuromast organs they detect the pressure changes of water and uh, the presence of paired and unpaired fin which is a characteristic feature the paired fin the paired fin includes the uh, pectoral fin and the pelvic fin whereas the dorsal and ventral fin uh, are unpaired fin and the ventral fin is known as anal fin and they maintain balance in water and they are useful for locomotion the digestive system is well developed and in intestine of sharks crawl valve is present the nervous system it contains brain and spinal cords and uh, uh, it contains uh, brain and uh, spinal cord and uh, 
the cranial nerves cranial nerves are 10 in number brain is small and it will not occupy the entire cranial cavity 10 pairs of cranial nerves are kidneys uh, kidneys are mesonephric or opisthonephric and excretion is ureotelic urinary bladder is absent in fishes the skeleton of some fishes is made by cartilages such fishes are called cartilages fishes whereas a uh, few are um, most of them are made out of uh, bony structure and those fishes are called bony fishes and uh, in some freshwater fishes accessory respiratory organs are present and this helps them for aerial respiration sexes sexes are separate um, and uh, gonads are typically paired uh, in male sharks claspers are present that help in transfer of sperm into uh, female many fishes are oviparous some fishes are viviparous in the development of fishes amnion is not developed hence these animals are called anamniotes the heart is s shaped with two chambers which consist of one atrium or auricle and one ventricle and it receives only venous blood and has a single circuit sinus venosus and renal portal systems are present and one of the other characteristic feature is the erythrocytes the erythrocytes are nucleated muscles are arranged in segments called myotomes with separate dorsal and ventral parts and these muscles are arranged within the visceral skeleton which is well developed in uh, fishes jaws are hinged jaws and notochord is replaced by two true vertebrae and a cartilaginous or bony cranium closes the brain these are the structure or the, the general character pieces 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 is further classified pieces uh, classification the um, division nathostomata the nathostomata includes craniates in which one pair of visceral, visceral arch is modified into jaws and they show internal ear with three semicircular canals and provided with paired four appendages either fins or limbs uh, and this uh, division of uh, nathostomata nathostomata that is divided into two super classes and the first super class that is pisces and the pisces and the, tetra, the second one is tetrapoda this comes under the jawed forms which is nathostomata the super class pisces and super class tetrapoda comes under nathostomata pisces classification and the uh, uh, super class pisces is divided into three classes Placodermy, Contrictus and Ostictus. The Placodermy that's an extinct form. That's an extinct form. The Contrictus these are cartilaginous fishes. And the Ostictus which is uh, bony fishes. The Contrictus. The Contrictus is divided into two subclasses. Subclass Elasmobranchi and subclass Holocephaly. Subclass uh, Elasmobranchi that contains a uh, uh, nasin nasin is included in elasma branchi and subclass holocephaly includes chimera the ostictus the ostictus is divided into two subclasses the coanictus and the actinopterygy the coanictus the coanictus is divided into crossopterygy and dipnoi and we have an example of latimeria to study under uh, crossopterygy order crossopterygy Actinotergy is divided into three order chondrostae, uh, holostae, and teleostae. Those three are the super orders, super orders into which actinotergy are divided. We have to study lactimeria as well as nasin as examples. And class 1 placodermy, it includes extinct fishes. They are all armored fishes. The exoskeleton is in the form of bony plates or shield. The posterior portion of the, um, the endoskeleton is also bony. Exoskeleton is also bony. And, but the 
uh, exoskeleton is found uh, towards the anterior region and the posterior region is uh, covered with small scales that allow mobility they have no true they had no true teeth but the primitive jaws were provided with tooth plates with sharp edges pair pectoral and pelvic fins were peculiarly shaped and underwent considerable adaptive diversification spiracles were absent in placodermy the hyoidean gill slits are complete it is not reduced in uh, placoderm and heterocercal caudal fin heterocercal where it is unequal the caudal fin that is unequally sized heterocercal caudal fin which is present and the hyoid arch hyoid arch is found towards the lower uh, uh, the floor of the buccal cavity you have the hyoid arch it will not support the jaws primitive jaws are seen within the this uh, group are seen within this group of placodermy and they survived up to permian period of paleozoic era example is climateus and bothriolepis and all members of this class they are extinct today and their exoskeleton is in the form of shields and the endoskeleton is bony class 2 it is contractus class 2 is contractus these fishes they exclusively marine the exoskeleton is in the form of placoid scales which is embedded in the skin the placoid scales are embedded in the skin and if you touch the surface of the fish the surface of the fish is rough it is not like bony fishes it is a rough surface with the because the placoid scales are immersed in the skin the endoskeleton is cartilaginous and are called cartilaginous fishes or chondrichthys chondrichthys chondri means cartilage cartilage fishes jaw suspension is amphistylic or hyostylic and uh, five to seven pairs of gills are present and you can see five to seven pairs of gill slits are also present in chondrichthys external gill openings are separate they are not covered by operculum there is uh, uh, no operculum absent uh, operculum is absent in chondrichthys the uh, caudal fin the caudal fin is heterocercal males show claspers for copulation the heterocercal caudal fin uh, it has a dorsal lobe and a ventral lobe the caudal fin uh, or the tail fin the caudal fin or the tail fin it is bilobed structure one of the caudal fin is uh, larger and that is on the dorsal side whereas the ventral side that is smaller and the coelom extends into the dorsal lobe males show claspers for copulation air bladder is absent in these fish this is an example where you have scoliodon scoliodon you can see the tail the tail is a peculiar the dorsal one into which the vertebral column extends the vertebral column is found on the dorsal side and this extends into the dorsal lobe this is a ventral lobe the ventral lobe is uh, small and it is devoid of vertebrae mouth mouth is on the ventral side in the case of contractus contractus mouth is found on the ventral side here you can clearly see the gill slits gill slits are present in this region nasin nasis is an example that we have to study uh, and this nasin comes under class contractus uh, class contractus subclass holo uh, elasmo branchi elasmo branchi uh, elasmo branchi uh, members of elasmo branchi have 5 to 7 pairs of gill clefts the gill clefts as you can see in the picture gill clefts are present which is 5 to 7 in number they have no swim bladders paired olfactory sacs and paired spiracles are absent in the case of elasmo branchi jaw suspension jaw suspension is generally hyostylic or amphistylic and the sense organ ampullae of lorenzini the ampullae of lorenzini which is the sense organ is present on the head of elasmo branchi 
ampullae of Lorenzini, which is the sense organ, is present on the head of this uh, fish. And this fish, uh, uh, the spiral valve, a spiral valve in the intestine increases its absorptive surface. The absorptive surface is increased because of the presence of spiral valve. Sexes are separate and fertilization takes place internally in the case of elasmobranchi. They have claspers for transferring sperm into female. Uh, and this uh, Uh, an example for this is nasin. Nasin or electric uh, ray. Nasin is also known as electric ray. This electric ray, it has electric organs which is kidney shaped here in this region behind the eye. Uh, this, uh, it's, it's actually the pectoral lobe, the pectoral fin that extends as uh, round uh, and circular structure. Here an Kidney shaped structure is found below the eye which is known as electric organ and this electric organ can discharge uh, electricity ranging from as little as 8 watts to up to 220 watts. The fish remains hidden in uh, bottom of the fish and once it encounters with the prey what uh, it does is it uh, uh, discharges an electric current. Uh, to capture the prey and the fish uh, or any prey that is caught uh, that gets uh, when the electric current hits the fish it gets uh, somewhat like a shock it's in a shock or it, ca it gets immobilized when the electric discharge uh, hits the prey and this is how it captures its prey it is a carnivorous fish it's a carnivorous fish and this is how it captures its prey. And the electric rays, they have rounded pectoral disc with two moderately large rounded angular dorsal fin. Dorsal fin, you can see here, it has two dorsal fin. It has two large uh, rounded angular dorsal fin and a stout muscular tail with a well developed caudal fin. And into the caudal fin, dorsal lobe of the caudal fin extends the vertebrae. A pair of kidney shaped electric organs are found at the base of the pectoral fin. The snout, the snout is broad and it is large. The mouth, nostrils and five pairs of gill slit. Those are found on the ventral side. It's found on the ventral side of the organism. In these two pictures, one is the dorsal view. The first one is the ventral view. On the ventral side, you can find the mouth, mouth. Uh, mouth is there then you have the five pairs of gill slits as well as nostrils are found on the ventral side this is the ventral view and the fish is dorsal ventrally flattened uh, the first image that I showed you of a typical fish that was laterally compressed this fish it is dorsal ventrally flattened which is a characteristic feature of contrictus contrictus fish their body is dorsal ventrally flattened and usually these electric rays they are found uh, they are purely marine and found at deep uh, somewhere around 1000 meters depth and uh, the next class is ostictus Ostictus, they are either marine freshwater or brackish form. Different types are present either freshwater, uh, brackish or uh, marine forms are present and their body is laterally compressed. Body is laterally compressed with scales which are either of cycloid, uh, tenoid or ganoid type. There are different scales. They are either cycloid, tenoid or ganoid scale which form the exoskeleton. Mucus glands are present from which mucus is secreted on top of these scales that make its body slimy. Endoskeleton is made of bones. Endoskeleton is made of bones hence known as ostictus. Jaw suspension is autostylic. And the gills are the respiratory organ and the gills are covered by bony operculum on each side. Filiform gills and reduced interbranchial septum are seen. 
spiracle is greatly reduced or absent in osteichthys forms claspers are absent and usually air bladder is present which serves as accessory respiratory organ in few forms many species possess a hydrostatic organ called swim bladder tail tail is homocercal uh, the caudal fin uh, is of equal size it is divided into two and it is of equal lobes hence known as homocercal tail it is known as homocercal tail whereas in chondrichthys you find heterocercal tail where the tail is of unequal lobes it has a dorsal lobe and a ventral lobe a spiral valve is absent in intestine except in a few forms and uh, cloaca is absent separate anal and urno genital openings are present in osteichthys forms of bony fishes and uh, these fishes these fishes include rohu mrigal katla anabas ophiocephalus tilapia whatever fishes that have a bony structure bony visceral uh, skeleton uh, the those uh, fishes are called osteichthys or bony fishes and this is divided into sub two subclasses sub class sarcoptergi um, or uh, and actinoptergi it is divided into two uh, subclasses which is known as sarcoptergi or quanicthys it is known as sarcoptergi or quanicthys uh, and actinoptergi that's a two subclass into which it is divided and this quanicthys these are uh, subclass uh, quanicthys or sarcoptergi these includes bony fishes which show lobed and massive fins it has lobes uh, underneath on which it is found and uh, this divided to uh, it's divided into two order crossoptergi and uh, dipnoi whereas subclass 2 actinoptergi it is divided into three um which is chondrostoi holosty and teleosty it is divided into three infra classes of super order example for crossotergy order crossotergy the example that we have to study is uh, lactimeria that comes under crossotergy the characters of crossotergy include the fishes under this order were abandoned in devonian period the devonian period and the base of the fin you can see that the base of the fin it has fleshy lobe and this fleshy lobe is supported by internal skeleton and this internal skeleton representing the our limbs like the humerus uh, ulna radius and ulna mm. and these uh, uh, fleshy lobes these fleshy lobes hold the uh, fins the bones of fin correspond to the humerus of femur radius and ulna there is uh, this is the pectoral fin and this is the pel uh, this is the pectoral fin and this is the pelvic fin uh, it has uh, dorsal fin anal fin is there as well as caudal fins are present the body possesses cosmoid scales the scales that is present on coelacanth or latimeria chalumne that is cosmid or uh, cosmid cosmoid scale which have uh, denticles the denticles uh, cosmoid uh, scales their denticles is known as cosmine the dentine is known as cosmine spiracles are absent a pineal opening was found between the parietals in the head region caudal fin is diffy circle here you can see diffy circle caudal where it is divided into lobes it is divided into lobes and this latimeria chalumne that's a blue fish it was once considered extinct fish it is somewhere around 150 cm long and this fish that uh, remained uh, as such uh, it's uh, somewhere and it remained uh, it uh, was first seen 
ड्यूरिंग द डवोनियन पीरियड समवेयर अराउंड हंड्रेड मिलियन इयर्स ए गो एंड इट रिमेन्स अनचेंज प्रेसेंटली इट इज ब्लू इन कलर एंड दिस फिश वॉज कंसिडर्ड एक्सटिंक्ट फॉर्म बट इन नाइनटीन थर्टी एट इट वॉज near the Comoro Islands. It was found near the Comoro Islands between Africa and Madagascar. And this fish, which is known as coelacanth, because the fleshy lobes of the fin, uh, they possess the coelom, or the coelom extends into these fleshy lobes, hence known as coelacanth. These fishes were identified by, by Miss Latimer and uh, it was named latimeria as a honor for this curator this is a living fossil because it has uh, not changed much from what was seen during 100 million years ago the characteristics of this fish include diffusercal tail pedunculate lobed and scale covered paired fins presence of external nostrils and absence of internal nostrils uh, it's uh, deep blue in color made of uh, cosmine dentine uh, cosmoid scales paired fins are lobed and have a series of bones there is a three lobed diffusercal caudal fin the vertebral column is not ossified there is no uh, fusion or uh, air um, within the vertebral column and there is a massive cartilaginous unconstricted not a cord that is present in this fish spines present at the back of the fish have coelom and this renders it the name coelacanth air bladder is present copulatory organs are absent fertilization is internal the fish is viviparous and the fish is carnivorous feeding on other fishes it is blue in color and uh, it was first uh, discovered in 1938 and then later in 1960s also um, one more um, fish was discovered from this group which is known as coelacanth latimeria chalumne the name given in honor of that uh, curator who first found out this fish